We, drug experts, do not promote the use of legal or illegal psychoactive substances. This is an educational harm reduction AROA. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. Expect us. LSD, also known as acid, is a psychedelic drug famous for altering your perception and creating hallucinations. But, how does it work and what is the effect on your body and more importantly, your brain? Lysergic acid diethylamide was first synthesized in 1938 from the fungus that grew on rye. 1943, the inventor Albert Hoffman accidentally touched some into his mouth and got height and became the first person in the world to learn about the psychedelic properties of LSD. Research on the drug took place in 50s and 60s, but as the recreational use began to spread, psychedelic drugs were made in a legal schedule one drug in the US and the research program was halted. While other drugs are dosed in grams, a single dose of LSD is measured one hundred thousandth of a gram, which is one tenth the mass of a grain of sand. LSD affects multiple brain receptors such as the dopamine receptors, adrenergic receptors and glutamate receptors. But most effects of LSD are caused by the serotonin receptor 5-HT2A. LSD hits the receptor at an unexpected angle causing it to fold over the LSD and create a lid. The LSD is then trapped which makes this receptor continually fire, causing you to hallucinate. In order to get rid of LSD, your body responds by sucking the 5-HT2A serotonin receptor into the cell in order to degrade LSD. But this can take up to 12 plus hours, that's why the high can last so long. Recently, LSD research has seen a revival in using contemporary neural imaging techniques. Researchers found out that the drug causes part of your brain to communicate in unique ways, especially in the visual cortex, potentially explaining vivid and complex hallucinations. There's also decreased blood flow in the default mode network, correlating to strong changes in consciousness, characterized as ego death. It is described as a feeling where the boundary that separates you from the rest of the world dissolving. Many people report, this feeling brings a sense of reconnection with themselves, others, and the natural world. In fact, a study on 20 healthy volunteers receiving 75 micrograms of LSD, saw that two weeks after being dosed, the test subjects scored higher for the traits of optimism and openness, with increased creativity and imagination. This has led researchers to consider LSD a therapy for patients with death anxiety and life threatening illnesses. Researchers found out that 12 months after the treatment patients reported a reduction of anxiety and rise in quality of life as the LSD helped them to restructure their habits and worldview. It is also why the trend of microdosing emerging, where a person takes a one-tenth of a recreational dose of LSD, attempting to skip the hallucinations and instead experience increased alertness, energy and creativity. Although LSD is non-addictive and researchers rate it as significantly less dangerous than the other drugs like methamphetamine and heroin. LSD can be dangerous to those who are suffering from schizophrenia. Because LSD can ignite the schizophrenia and make it worse. Drug experts viewer, please like this video. Thank you for watching. See you soon buddy.